artist and welcome back to today's video as always you can skip the intro and go straight to the tutorial to know what's up with it what am i going to teach you guys in this video is how to search for a free base mesh in order to get your character going without worrying about topology sculpting the right body shapes and everything and start assembling your character with the clothing accessory etc so if that's something that's interesting to you keep on watching subscribe if you're really curious about my videos and let's just jump right into it in order to get ourselves a free base mesh to work with, let's download Quixel Bridge, which in general is an amazing app to have as a 3D artist as it contains a ton of assets like Megascan. Simply type Quixel Bridge in Google, then on their website, click on the download button. Once it has been downloaded, you can open the app and go straight to the MetaHuman tab where you can find a ton of presets from the MetaHuman character to use as a base. As you can see, I have my PureRef open on the side with my character's face in order to choose the MetaHuman base that will basically have the closest skin type that I want to achieve. If somehow though, you cannot find a character that has the right skin preset, you can always go onto the MetaHuman website and create your own character's feature from scratch. Once on the website, you can choose to launch the app if you already have asked for early access with your Epic account, or if you haven't already, simply click on the request access. When you're finally on the MetaHuman page, choose a character to start from and customize it however you want your final character to look like. Afterwards, just give it a name to your newly created character to find it in your roster of characters in the Bridge app. Now let's go back to our quick cell to export our character. Let's start by setting up the download settings by checking every box of the textures that I want to export. In my case, I chose the albedo for the color, the roughness, the normal as well, and a few other options, but it can all come down to your personal preference. Then in my models option, in my case, I simply wanted to export the FBX since I'll be working in the Marmoset and not in Unreal Engines, but it all comes down again to your personal preference. If you are thinking about working in Unreal, then maybe set it up to a U asset. So again, uh, my options, I have set them to FBX and source asset. And for the LODs, I basically set it to LOD zero since the lowest number is basically the more resolution there is going to be for my FBX. Once you're all set up, you can finally click on download. All right, now let's move on to Maya. In order to have our files in Maya, let's click on the three dots and select go to files. Find a file which has the same name as the character you chose. In my case, her name was Irene. Then when I finally find the MA uh, scene, I can click it and drag it into my Maya. Once we have loaded the body, as you can see, there's a few things missing we need to set up before sending this to ZBrush. To begin with, let's try to arrange the orientation of the mesh. I'm going to select the rig of the character and basically turn it backwards so that the character is standing or I can go directly into the channel box and write minus 90. The next thing we want, of course, is the rest of the head. So I'm going to look for the hidden mesh in the outliner. Then I'm basically going to click H on my keyboard to make it appear in my scene. And this is basically going to give us the head combined with the rest of the body, which is much more interesting when working in ZBrush to work with the entire thing rather than having the two separate mesh. All right, so now before doing anything else, I'm going to save my Maya scene so I can go back to it anytime with everything ready to go. So in order to do this, we're simply going to go to file and then click on save as, and then you can save it basically wherever you feel most comfortable on your computer. Now we can finally export our character so we can send it into ZBrush. So of course, file, export selection, and then again, you can save it wherever on your computer. Now we can finally go to ZBrush and import our file by going to Z plugin, import, and then select your file wherever you saved it on your computer. Before getting started with the proportions, the one thing that I want to do is to expand my Canva. So in order to do this, I'm going to document, double, 
And then as you can see, the Canva has expanded. I then click on Ctrl N to reset my Canva so I can drag my character again in the viewport and then finally click on T for edit. With our base mesh loaded into ZBrush, the natural next step is to have the right proportions. So I have my character's body reference on the side to work with in my PureF. And at that point, your one thing you're gonna notice is that I'm only using the move and the smoothing brush as I'm not looking to add any details, but just to set up the character's proportions. Usually you should have a picture of a front and the side of your model to have the best idea of the proportions. After having tried to visually make the base mesh look the same as my reference, I now want to do it by having my reference on top of my mesh in ZBrush. In order to do that, I'm making my viewport transparent in order to have my PureF underneath the viewport and compare the mesh directly on top of the picture. You could always use Photoshop as well in order to measure the head of your reference and then compare it with your actual 3D model to see if everything matches up to your reference. Thank you guys so much for watching today's video. I really hope you enjoyed it. If you did, please give it a thumbs up. Subscribe if you were curious about more tutorials from me and leave a comment below if you have any suggestions of what my next video should be about. If you're really craving content though, like hours of content, unedited, sculpting, anything like it, you can check out my Patreon. I have a ton of videos. I also have some tiers of mentorships if that's something that's interesting to you. So yeah, go check it out. It's all gonna be linked below. Other than that, my social media as always, Instagram, TikTok, and our station. Yes, I do have a TikTok now. I know I'm basic. Shame. But yeah, so you can find me there if you're really curious about what I'm doing, my personal work, and everything. As always, thank you guys so much for watching. I really hope you enjoy these videos, and I hope to see you the next one. Bye guys!